Today we're going to be showing you how to install a Z06 grill from Extreme Online Store on a C7 Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today Terry, John and I are going to be showing you how to take the front bumper off of a C7 Corvette and we're going to be installing a new Z06 front grille from Extreme Online Store. John's new 2015 Corvette has a uh, has the original Stingray grille in it and um, it's basically about the only thing left he's got left that's just flat Stingray. So we're going to take that out and we're going to show you how that's done. We're going to get this one installed and we're going to show you all the little things that uh, goes with that as far as if you have front cameras or if you don't and we'll cover off all of that on how that's done. So sit back and relax and we'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, so you don't really need a lot of tools to be able to do this, do this job. Um, you're going to need a, a, seven, a seven millimeter socket as well as a 10 millimeter socket and a 15 Torx as well as a 30 Torx. And then um, you're gonna need some masking tape uh, just to make sure that you're not gonna be scratching the paint on the bumper because um, things are gonna start getting loose and you just don't want to end up with any scratches. We're also gonna be using some nylon pry tools so we can get the bumper loose from the clips up in the front where, they're, where it connects to the front uh, fenders. And, um, and then we possibly may have to have a screwdriver to help us get the clips loose uh, when we're removing the old grill out of the bumper. Um, we're gonna probably try to use the nylon tools first, um, but uh, in the past I've had to rely on having a screwdriver. So I just wanted to be able to show you all the things you're gonna need and, um, and then what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna step over to the car and uh, I'm gonna show you basically what we're gonna be doing into what we're taking off. So guys, once we get over to the car, we will have already been underneath the car. We're gonna show you that in, in the video where we remove the screws on the bottom. And, um, and then at that point, um, we're going to need to come up to the top of the car and we're going to be removing uh, all of the, uh, there's a couple clips here. These are just press clips that lift, uh, lift up and they, they come out. There's one on each side over here. And then there are the, uh, the T30 Torx that are here, here, and there's one under each one of these caps here. We're gonna show you how to take those off. Once we have the screws on the bottom and we have these screws removed, then we'll be able to uh, put our tape right along here. We'll put that along the bumper, uh, on the bumper paint as well as the headlight. And we'll also put it along this edge here so we just don't get any scratching but we'll be prying right into here to lift this part of it up there's a clip right here and there's a clip right here that's underneath and you can't really see them right here but those lift up and then that will release the front bumper from here and there's also some on the outside edge but those come loose really really easy there's also three uh, 15 millimeter, uh, excuse me, 15 torques that are on the inside of the wheel wells, and we're going to show you how that's done also, uh, as well as disconnecting the uh, each one of the wires on each side of the car to the side marker lights. Once you've got all that loose, the bumper will just come right off, and then we'll be able to take the bumper off. We'll be able to set it up on its nose here on on this nice soft cushiony stuff here, and we'll be able to remove the old grill and put the new one in. So you want to make sure that you have something soft, whether it be carpet, um, you know, but you just want to make sure that it's not just on the concrete floor because you'll scratch the heck out of your bumper. So anyway, we're going to jump into the video now and we'll show you how it's done. So guys, we got the car up in the air and um, John's car happens to have a factory, uh, the factory splitter as well as the factory guard. And a lot of cars, and actually this is the first Z51 that I've seen that has this on it. So I'm, I think that's kind of cool. I don't know exactly how that became to happen, but I don't think that that was the way you could buy them. But anyway, um, so this is a good thing, right? We can show you how we go ahead and we pull this completely off. I usually only see these on the Z06s. But um, 
there's just a bunch of uh, T15 Torx heads right here that run all the way along here. And that, and then of course we've got the 10 millimeter bolts that are here, which we were going to talk about taking off already. But we've got to take this part off first. So uh, here in a second, Terry's going to go ahead and pull these screws out. That'll drop this down, so that'll reveal all of the other pieces that we need to get to. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these screws out. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's one over in the corner right here yeah. that you have to get to. It's actually on this side of this air, little air dam. Okay, so we'll just start right here. This piece here should slide out. Oh, there you go. All right, there's five screws. This is the air dam, the bottom of the air intake for the motor. What we're gonna do is take these five screws out and what it does, it takes it away from the bumper and then we'll be done under here and we can start on the top. Now everything under here should be undone and ready for the bottom to be taken off. Now we have to go up on top and take the top of the bumper off. And we're good to go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you can take this wheel and turn it like so. And then you can get in here with these. And you take these three screws. One, two, three. This way you can take this back when we get done and take the fenders off so that you can get in there and take and disconnect connect the wires, which Scott's going to do. All right, we've come over to the driver's side. We're going to do the same thing we did over there. I've turned the wheel in and we're just going to take these three screws out. We're doing this because it's up in the air and we don't have to bend over. You get old like me and you don't like bending over. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Terry wanted me to take the connector loose on the, on the uh, side marker light. So he's already got the screws out. So we're just going to pull the fender back just a little bit or the bumper back a little bit. That's going to release this inner liner. So I can pull this up and out of the way here. And you can get that out there like that. And hopefully John can get the camera there to be able to see it. But there's a connector that's right there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And... This little guy just there's a little there's a little tab. Let me see if I can find the little tab on the back of it. And you're gonna press it. I'm trying to see here if I can make sure you guys can see. But there's a little tab on the back that pulls out. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Then you press and you pull away. So I'm gonna pull it out here so you can see what I'm talking about. But you can see this little this little gray tab. That is normally in the locked position. I can't lock it now because it's it won't let me because it's not plugged in place. But I all I did was pull this out like this and then press on it just like that, and that releases it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We did that here, we're gonna do that on the other side. We're just gonna tuck that back in there, and then that way the light will be able to stay in the bumper when we go to pull the bumper off. So again, we're just on the other side. We're just going to do the exact same thing. We're just pulling this back because Terry's already got the screws out. And we're just going to peel this little guy back like that until we can reach up there. And on this side, maybe John can see that. The plug is laid out a little bit different, so you can see that plug in there now. You see that? So I'm just going to grab that with my fingers and pull that out like that and press and remove. And now we are completely free underneath the car so we can go ahead and we can come up, we're going to lower the car down and then we'll be able to get the screws out of the top. And then the bumper will just come right off. So now we've got the car down on the ground, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift the hood up. 
which will allow us to get into here. We've got a couple little black covers on each side of the, of the um, fender here on the inside, and we have to pop those loose. So you can just grab that, you can just pull out here like that, and they, they come out pretty easy. Now, one thing I wanna point out, you can see the little clips there, and there's a little guide pin right there. Um, a lot of these I see, this clip has broken, and so you may, see, you may peel this loose and then somebody might have put stick tape in here. Uh, I see that a lot. Okay, so uh, nothing to be too worried about. If this is broken off, um, you can just put some uh, two-sided stick tape across here and across this way right here, and that will lock it back down in place and it's not going to go anywhere. So, um, but you don't just leave it flopping around in there because it'll actually rise up and you'll be driving down the road and you'll see this little, this little ear sticking up just like that. Um, it's kind of weird on how it happens, but I, I have seen that happen, okay? So anyway, we're going to pull that out of the way. We'll end up doing that on this other side also, but you can see right here that we've got our, our T30 Torx right here. We've got one right there, one right across here, one across there, and one underneath that other cover. And then we've got our two little uh, plastic uh, snap, uh, snap pins right here, the little plastic rivets. And so we've just got to remove those. So I think Terry's got his T30 Torx over there handy, and we're gonna go ahead and have him pull them out. All right, Scott's gonna take off that other piece that was over here, the same one that's on that side. There we go. All right, now there's one, two, three, four, 15 millimeter Torx that we're gonna take out right here. I'm gonna go on the other side. Okay, that does that. Now we'll have Scott take these two little clips off with his tool he's got, and you just stick them up under there, he'll show you, yep. and we'll let him go to that. All right, so we're just gonna take a nylon pry tool here, and we're going to go underneath there. If you can see, there's a little little lip there. Hopefully I can see, you can see that with my, my thumbnail underneath there. We're just gonna go right in between there, and we're going to get that little guy underneath there like that. We're just gonna pop it up, just like that. And then we're gonna take the same thing and we'll go underneath it, lift it up just a little bit, like that, and we can pop it up and out, just like that. So that's how it comes out. If this little guy comes out of the center, that's not a big deal, you can just always put it back in. But uh, if you just take your time, you'll be able to get it out, okay? Just like that. And then just like that right there, okay? And then we're gonna move on to, we're gonna put some tape along here, along here, because we've gotta separate the front bumper from the, the bracket that's actually in here. It's a pressed in bracket. You can kind of see right here, John can probably see that. You can see how there is there is a little bit, that red part is attached to this, and the little black piece is the little ear that's attached to the bracket on this, on this fender. Our next step here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just put some tape here um, just along the, the edges. Um, you don't have to do this, but I highly recommend that you do. I, I just don't like taking the chance that we're going to scratch the car. I, I just, that would just kill me if I did. John might kill me if I did too. So what we're going to do, we've just got all our edges taped up here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put, put this little guy right in here between the, the bumper and the headlight. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of up pressure. There's a clip here, and there's a clip right down over here, okay? And you can see that little clip right there, okay? And we're just going to pop that little guy up like so. And you, you just have to wiggle this. you got to use a little bit of finesse here just to get that to go, okay? And you just have to be careful. All right, so then we're just going, we finally got it pro propped up. I'm gonna pry it out of there like that, so you've got these two ears here that's holding it in place, okay? And then what we're gonna do is it has the same kind of thing over here, but it's not as, as tight. This will just, you can get underneath here with your fingers, like so, and you can pull this free, just like that, okay? And now this side is completely loose, we just gotta go to the other side. 
We are done on the other side. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this one loose. And again, guys, you're going to be going right in between here. We're prying this part up. And what we're doing is we're just going to get in here enough that we can get we can get underneath here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And there we go. We've got that up. Okay, guys, so now we've got we've got it free completely on that side. We've got this lifted up. All we have left is to pull this part of the bumper free from the fender. So we're just going to reach in here into the wheel well, okay, and we're going to reach over here and just grab the edge of the bumper and pull it free, okay. Now at that point, Terry's going to be able to help me here. We're just going to pull this up, pull this up over the lip here, so just like that, and you can see that it's just coming free, just like that, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this over here, and we're going to go ahead and set that up here like so. All right, guys. We've got the bumper off, and uh, we are just gonna do just gonna transfer this grill out, put the new one in. We're just transferring all the hardware across. So the first thing you want to do here is there's two little press-in clips. There's little metal spring clips. You're just gonna press down with a screwdriver, push down a little bit, and twist it. Okay, like that. And if I probably had a little bit bigger screwdriver, it'd probably help, but it just comes out like that. All right, and there's one more over here on this side. And you just push down just a little bit. Okay, just like that. And it twists out, comes right out. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side because we need to be able to put those back in. We've got a couple screws, a couple seven millimeter screws right here. We're gonna take those out. that all right and then you want to take a I mean you can use a screwdriver guys but I'm going to use a nylon pry tool you can see all these little clips here they go all the way around okay and we're just going to start on one end and we're just going to start pulling them out so we're just going to pry that little guy out and and then we pry that and we'll pry another one and we'll be able to start lifting this little guy out of here that one is in there already there we go that's one it's like that you can see it's just coming free okay and i think we got a couple more, more over here there we go and that's up it. and out it comes okay so at that point, all we're doing, as you can see right there, we're just going to take the new grill, which is our new one here, yeah, and we're going to just going to set this over here for a second, okay, get it out of the way. We've got to transfer the hardware from the old grill to this one. So we're just setting this one in place, and what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking these little clips right here and transferring them over. Now, the kit comes with the new clips, right? But what I found is, is that the, um, the clips don't seem to work as well with the factory screws. And I like to use the factory screws, so I'm gonna transfer my clips, if that would help here. I don't drop them. I'm gonna transfer my factory clips over to the grill, okay? Or to my new grill. But you want to make sure that you do this before you put it all back together. Okay, just like that. Okay, and Terry's going to grab the old grill from me. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these little guys like so. like that okay and then at that point we're just going to start to line up these little ears to make sure you don't want to snap them in place yet you want to make sure that they're all guided in first they're all in the right spot so they're going to snap in place
seem like they're going in okay. How's your side looking over there, Terry? That's good. Is all, all going already in? Going. Okay. We're all lined up. So we're just, just push them in. We're just snapping them in place. So you'll hear them and you'll be able to see that they're in place. So now at that point, all we have left is our little bit of hardware here on the sides. Get my tool out from underneath here so I don't hurt John's bumper. So we've got our two screws here. So we're going to go right here. Okay. And then we've got our two little locking tabs that go right back over here. The little guy goes in there like that. And this one goes in right like this one. Just like that. So we're going to tighten these up. Alright, so guys, that was it. That's all there is to it. Look at the difference. I mean, I don't know about you, but I just think that this is a much more aggressive looking bumper. It looks so much nicer to me. And actually, we it, the actual vents actually work. There, there's no displacement of the, of the air going through here. There's a restriction going through the air if you're going through these brake vents. And so I don't even think that these actually work as well as this grill. Right, so I, I just think this is more functional. It looks better, uh, great design. I think that the, you know, I mean, this isn't a bad looking grill, don't get me wrong, but when you're going after all, doing all the modifications to your car, I think this is the way to go. So anyway, um, let's get this out of the way here for a second. And let me talk about something um, that comes in the box with your kit. And you're gonna see some extra pieces here, right? And what these are for, is they actually screw into this area here um, on your grill. Now what that's for is to be able to mount your cameras. Now John doesn't have cameras on his car, it's a 2015. So 2014s and 15s, you don't have to worry about this at all, guys. Um, but starting in 16, you may or may not have front parking cameras. And so they come with the little covers, little grills that lock it in place. These are the backing pieces that go through. The wire would go through this, and this screws in, and it goes on each side on the back side. But we're not doing that. But I wanted to make sure that you saw that it does come with those. Um, some kits don't. Uh, I've seen that on the internet where um, when you're buying them, they don't come with this option. So if you have cameras, you better make sure that you get the hardware that comes with it because um, otherwise you're not going to be able to hang your cameras. So that, that, that would be a, a really bad bad day for you. So anyway, uh, we are all done with this piece of it. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead, the next step is we're just gonna go put it back on the car. All right. All right, guys, so next thing we're gonna do, that we've got the grill all ready to go. We're just gonna grab the bumper, we're gonna bring it back over here, and we're gonna have uh, John give us a hand holding one side of it so we can get, get it uh, put in place. One thing I do wanna point out to you really quick, is you can see right here, there's a couple little tabs right here, okay? They are guides that, that is on the inside of the bumper cover, and you'll just see those like little, they look like little sails almost. You wanna make sure that those go into those slots. If you don't, the bumper is not gonna line up, and it's just not gonna fit. So um, make sure that when you're putting it in, very, very simple, just guide the, those little, those little uh, wings or sails, whatever you wanna call it, and put them, make sure that they go into these slots, okay? All right, Terry, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna bring this little guy over here. All right, and we're going to go over, and we're gonna lift up and go over the top there, okay? Then make sure that those little, those little guides that I'm talking about are in here like that, yep. and we're going to Lift up here. Terry, did you get your little ears in there like that? Yeah. That I was talking about? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to lift up and over. And hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so you guys can see right here. See those little ears, the little sails I was talking about, and the little slots? You're going to want to make sure that they just go in there like so. Okay? They get lined up, and then that'll make that fit just fine. And then you've got this up and over. These little slots here. 
You're gonna lift up on the bumper just a little bit to make sure that those go in place. Okay, just like that. Okay, just like that. And you've got your little your little sails in their slots. Okay, just like that. And then you're gonna lift lift it up, and you're just gonna pop it down in place. And then over here, just gonna press in, just like that. And there you go. So now we're lined up here. We're lined up here. How you doing over there, Terry? I'm done. You're done? Oh yeah, I'm always faster than you. <laughs> all right, guys. So now what we've got, all we have left the is portable. to put the bolts back in and put our little retaining clips in, our little plastic rivets, as well as um, putting our little covers in. So Terry doesn't like using these things, guys. Um, <laughs> he, he hates these little clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put those little guys in first. Okay, and they just go right here on each side, just like that. Over on this side over here. Okay, and they go right there like that. Actually, I think that's over here, I'm sorry. On this one right there, and you push down, okay? And then Terry's gonna go ahead and put those, the T T30 uh, torque bolts back in the top. There's two different sizes here. There's these two little ones that go on the outside, and then there's these two big ones that go in the middle. They go in here. I'm gonna put these side in first. Now you pull the tape off and we go up on the lift and we're good to go. The one other thing that we've got to do is we're going to pull our tape off like Terry was saying. But we've got our little covers here that we got to put on. All right, and then we're just going to put this back in place. So this little guide pin right here, guys, I'm going to show you that little guide pin. That goes right back into here. Okay. And that goes in there like that. And then the clip locks it down in place right there, just like that, okay? Then we'll do this exact same thing on the other side. Put that over here. And there we go. Now we're gonna go back down to the bottom of the car, so Terry's gonna go ahead and start to lift it up. So we can close the hood. Yep, we can close the hood, yeah. And he's gonna go ahead and make it a little bit easier for us. He's gonna lift it up a little bit here, so this is more at our height, so we're not having to climb down on the ground. We'll be able to put our bolts and plug our light back in. We'll do that on both sides, and then we'll go ahead and go all the way up uh, and push underneath. We've got our wheel turned. We're just gonna pull our, our inner liner loose again here. We're just gonna take our wire, our wire here, and we're gonna plug that little guy into, into our light. Okay, which is right here and go all the way in and we're going to press that the retainer lock right there and we're good okay and then Terry is going to follow behind me and put the screws back in into the fender okay and I'm going to take these three screws and put them back in This bottom tray that goes into the grill is these five screws. And we'll just put them in here. This is the next piece that's going to go in. It's just a pan and it goes up into the bumper. And there's four screws right back here that go in. I'm just going to put these and finger start them just to hold it up there while I put the other screws in the front. Now let me get the sevens and we'll put them in. These are all the ones that go along from here all the way along to that end. Now guys, all those screws that, that Terry's talking about, these would normally just be, once you got these screws in pretty much, you'd be, pretty much be done, right? But 
like I was saying, John's car has a different uh, different splitter with the uh, with the skid guard on it. So once we get these tied up, then we're also going to have the other bolts that we have to do to put the skid guard back on. But we're we're almost done. Okay, I'm going to put these back in here. I want to start right here because you just start from the middle and work your way out. Put one on each side here, and I'll go that side, and then we'll go to the other side. Just go along here. Okay, now we'll go along the other side. Okay, that finishes that part. Now the next part is putting that, what do you call it, that shield? It's a skid, it's a skid, skid guard. Yeah. Skid guard. Mine doesn't have one, so I don't know what it is. I think the official word is skid armor is what they skid call it. Skid armor, okay. Okay. I'm gonna help you, Terry. I'm gonna hold it in place for you okay. so you don't and have these to do it. Okay, like I said, we'll start in the middle again. back in. All right, that should make John happy. He's done. All right, well there you go guys. That's how you go ahead and you change a, change the Stingray grill over to a Z06 grill. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative and when it comes time that you need to take your bumper off your C7 and change your grill, you'll know exactly how to do it. We are climbing, like I said before, the subscriptions are great, you guys are viewing and we've got a lot of viewers and we really appreciate it. So uh, you guys just, uh, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate everything you're doing. If you guys haven't subscribed and you're watching, please go ahead and subscribe. That helps us with, our, with all the manufacturers that will be willing to help sponsor the channel. They go by the subscription rate and not by the viewership. We have about 38,000 viewers at this point, but we only have about 8,000 subscribers. So a lot of you guys are watching, but you're not subscribing. So I, I know that you have to get the Gmail account to be able to do it, and I know that's a pain, but I'd really appreciate it. It would sure help us a lot. So guys, anyway, thanks again. You guys have a great night, and we'll talk to you later.